When I was about 15, I didn't get along with anybody. I didn't feel like I connected. I told my mom I just wasn't happy, and of course, me and a mom, you, sorry. You tried to fix it, but she just couldn't. Two young people suffering symptoms of depression. Both turned to antidepressants for relief. For one, the controversial drugs seemed to be working. For the other, certain antidepressants brought on thoughts of suicide. My mom saw me in the kitchen with a knife and she stopped it. Some doctors say chemicals in the brain, including serotonin and dopamine, control everything from wakefulness to moodiness, joy to despair. And when those chemicals get too far out of balance, problems follow. Dr. Rick Spinagle of Florida Detox says a low level of the calming chemical serotonin causes moodiness, irritability, anxiety, hopelessness, excessive guilt. And doctors commonly prescribe drugs like Lexapro or Paxil that increase and restore the balance of serotonin in the brain. Those drugs are fine in teens who need a serotonin boost. But a multitude of these teens who have depression have dopamine deficiency. Dr. Spinagle says low dopamine activity in the pleasure center of the brain often goes undiagnosed. And raising serotonin in a patient like Becky drops the dopamine levels down even further, leading to a deeper depression. It's just like, it, there's just like no reason to be here. Instead of prescribing drugs like Lexapro or Paxil, Dr. Spinagle says patients with dopamine deficiencies need a good dopamine stimulant and really the best drugs we have are the stimulants we use for ADD. You've got a lot of kids that present with what looks like depression who actually are in the initial stages of bipolar. You give those kids just a straight out antidepressant, you know, that's, that's not balanced with anything, you can make a mess. Dr. Hubbard, board certified in behavioral pediatrics, agrees with Dr. Spinagle that some doctors may too quickly prescribe antidepressants before getting to the root of the problem. But that's because there aren't any practical or inexpensive tests to determine whether a young person is low in serotonin or dopamine. She depends on a clinical diagnosis. You ask the parents a lot of questions. You find out from the teachers or the daycare workers. Um, you get to know the child. And she promises her patients they will work together and change any medication that makes them feel worse. A lot of it is educating. Parents need to be educated. This is Kyle's mother. She says antidepressants are helping her son. He does take an ADHD stimulant as well. It's been so much better. I'm enjoying music more. I'm having fun. I have friends. She said the long journey to get his medication just right changed not only his mood, but his music. So what do you do if you think your child is depressed and might need an antidepressant? Well, both doctors say you need to find a medical professional who is well-versed in brain chemistry and antidepressants. And you yourself must be able to monitor your child closely in the weeks it takes for that medication to take effect. If you'd like more information, go to our website at abcactionnews.com slash health. In Tampa, Linda Hurtado, ABC Action News.